Welcome to today's discussion. Today we are going to look at a question Sorry, on I didn't differentiation under calculus KCSE 2018 paper 1. The question we have reads The equation of a curve is given as y is equal to a third x power 3 minus 4x plus 5. Determine part A, the value of y when x is equal to 3. We have been given the function. We have been given the function in the form of y being equal to a third x cubed minus 4x plus 5. And we are supposed to find y when x is equal to 3. So to find the value of y, we simply substitute the value of x back into the function. We are going to have a third multiplied by x, which is 3 cubed minus 4 multiplied by x, which is 3. Then finally plus 5. And this one is going to give us 3 cubed is 27 times a third which gives us 9 we have minus 4 times 3 is 12 plus 5 using both mass we take 9 add to 5 you get 14 minus 12 and this one will give us 2 that means when x is equal to 3 the value of y will be equal to 2 and that is the answer to part A of this particular question. We go to part B. The gradient of the curve at x is equal to 3. Given the function in the form of y being equal to a third x power 3 minus 4x plus 5. And you are supposed to find the gradient. We find the gradient of a curve by differentiating the given curve, that is dy over dx will be equal to. How do we differentiate? Let me show you how to go about it. We are going to differentiate each term at a time. We have a third, x power 3. We simply multiply these three down here then we go and less one from the power such that three and three goes we remain with x power three minus one which gives us x squared then we have minus this is 4x it's a sieve it is raised to power one we multiply one here you get four then we go and less one from the power we are going to have 4 x power 0 and any number raised to 0 is 1 1 times 4 you get 4 we do not differentiate 5 since it doesn't have x in this case we know we are supposed to find the gradient of this curve at x is equals to 3 and therefore we can say at x is equal to 3 the gradient is going to be equal to x squared. Our value of x is 3. We square, then we minus 4. From there we know 3 squared is 9. 9, 9 minus 4, you get 5. And therefore now, we can say the gradient of this curve at x is equal to 3 will be equal to 5. And that is the answer to part B of this question. We go to part C. Part C says, determine the turning points of the curve and their nature. Remember, at turning point, the gradient function of any curve will always be equal to zero. And therefore, we can say, at turning point, the dy over dx will always be equal to zero. Therefore, now what do we do? We take the dy over dx, which we have already found to be x squared, 
minus 4 we equate to 0. If we take negative, two, uh, negative 4 to this other side, we are going to remain with x squared being equal to 4. And if you take the square root on both sides, square and the square root will cancel such that we have x being equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 which is 2. Therefore, we can say x will be equal to positive 2 and the x will also be equal to negative 2. From there, we go down and get the point. We know we know that uh, when x is equal to positive 2, we can get the value of y by substituting this value of x into the main function, which is a third x cubed minus 4x plus 5. And for us to get y, we take a third into x, which is 2, but that 2 is cubed, minus 4 into the value of x, which is 2 plus 5. That means if you take a third times 2 power 3, minus 4 into 2 plus 5, this one will give us negative a third. And therefore, the point we are going to have here is going to be equal to x being 2 and the y coordinate being negative a third. Having gotten this particular point here, we can now move down. We can now move down and determine the nature of this point. And for us to determine the nature of this point, and for us to determine the nature of a point, We usually draw a table having x, then we have dy over dx, and lastly we have the diagram. From there the values of x, we determine the nature of a point by using the x coordinate which we place at the center. We take one step backwards we land at one, one step forward we land at 3 then now we find the dy over dx remember our dy over dx is x squared minus 4 when the value of x is 1 you take 1 squared which is 1 minus 4 you get negative 3 then when x is 2 you come here you square 2 you get 4 minus 0 which is uh, minus 4 uh, sorry which is 0 then now you come here when x is 3 3 squared is 9, minus 4, you get 5. You realize the gradient is changing from negative through 0 to positive. And any time the gradient changes from negative through 0 to positive, we can simply come and say, therefore, the point we have, which is 2, negative a third, is a minimum point that is when the gradient changes from negative through zero to positive then that particular point is a minimum point or simply a minima then now we move down to this other point remember the other value of x is negative 2 and we can say when when x is negative 2, then the value of y, the value of y is going to be equal to a third into the value of x is negative 2 we cube minus 4 into the value of x which is negative 2. Then of course we we add 5 and in this case we are going to have a third into negative 2 power 3 will give us negative 8 then negative 4 into negative 2 then plus 5 this one is going to give us 10 and a third and therefore again 
this point is going to be equal to the x coordinate is negative 2 and the y coordinate is 10 and a third from here we are going to go down and determine the nature of this particular point we need x dy over dx and the diagram here so we always determine the nature of a point by using the x coordinate we put it at the center take one step backwards we land at negative three then one step forward we land at negative one then now we go and find the dy over dx remember dy over dx is x squared minus four the value of x here is negative three negative three squared you get positive nine minus four you get positive five x is negative two negative two squared will give us four positive four minus four you get a zero then negative one squared you get positive one minus four you get negative three you realize the gradient is changing from positive through zero to negative when the gradient changes from positive through zero to negative that particular point is a maximum point and therefore we can come down and say the point we have which is negative two ten and a third is a maximum point and by so doing we would have answered this particular question very very well thank you for watching and welcome to this channel and in case you are watching this for the first time kindly take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this you'll automatically be notified